I bet you all thought I was gone and never to return. Um, hi. <laughs> I've just been having some time off. Um, yeah, lockdown, crazy. We don't really need to go into it. I think we're all feeling the same. So anyways, um, this is one of my ladies. She is back. So we decided to do some Northern Lights nails today. So I've taken off her previous set, done all of the natural nail work prep. I've sliced up a bunch of angel paper. I've got various holographic glitters on the table and we're going to just go for it. So I've got three multi cuts and two chunky cuts and I'm just randomly shoving them on the nail really. Um, don't get too caught up in trying to make it all perfect and wonderful. The joy of Northern Lights is it's all a bit different and a bit fancy and yeah so just kind of go for it. Um, don't worry about getting perfect coverage with all of your glitter either because once you've popped on a bit of angel paper and some chameleon flakes um there's so much shiny goodness going on that if there's like a little gap in the glitter it really will not notice so yeah i'm just gonna chuck on a load of multi cut and then i'm gonna use my wet brush to pick up some of the chunky cut glitter and i'm just gonna pat that in to the nails so that um, you've got like those few different colors on there So next I'm just going to pop on a little bit of super wet um, just clear acrylic just because I want something that the angel paper will stick to. I'm just picking up some of those shards of angel paper. Again, just throw it on. That's the joy of these Northern Lights nails. Just kind of go with it, let it flow. It doesn't all need to be paced perfectly. It's supposed to be random and a bit different. And then I'm going to use a small bead of clear acrylic and I'm going to pick up some of the chameleon flakes. And again, I'm just going to just dot them around. Um, another one that would work well with this is some um, of the frost shards would also look quite good. Quite similar to the rainbow extreme length nails I did uh, before lockdown. That would look fabulous in Northern Lights. And then I'm going to let this set um, and I'm going to go on and do exactly the same thing on the next nail.
and now I'm going to cap them in clear acrylic. So I'm just going to continue to do this for the entire set now. Um, just keep it nice and random, just to play around just throw on the glitter throw on the angel paper that's the fun of a northern lights now i think you can get away with um just just having a bit of fun there's there's no rules just 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 enjoy it so i'm gonna leave that video playing for you And then when I'm all finished um, and it's all completed, I'm then going to file them in. So I've included a bit of the filing, but I did a hyperlapse video because it takes up too much room on my phone. So yeah, so I'm just going to file these all in. Um, and this is one of those great sets that when you're done, you can just top coat and bam. So I'm now going to apply the top coat. Oh my God. See, even matte, I think they look quite fancy. But then as soon as you put that top coat on, it's just all the sparkly goodness just combined together to make very eye-catching nails. So this is a really good design, especially for people that want something quite eye-catching, but they don't like having like sprosky stuff like that. You will get a super mega bling with this, but it's nice and flat and smooth now. It's not going to be catching on things. So I know um, a lot of my customers prefer to have something that's nice and smooth. So yeah, so those are the Northern Lights nails, guys. And there you go guys, they're all done. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.